Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to another Windmill Slam draft. Still sticking with Theros due to lack of other options. No way I'm doing M14 again. Oh, so. oh yeah, I don't mind M14, but yeah, you're Theros wrong. It's probably better. That's fair. Um, um, so the rare is Ember Swallower. Good what card. We talked about that a little bit before, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Um, four mana, four five is just super solid. Yeah, you don't really doesn't really need any of the text. Um, and the monstrous ability is surprisingly relevant. It just locks up games sometimes. I mean, and you're the one with the seven eight, so exactly. If a symmetrical effects that slow down the game on big creatures, things like Lodestone Golem are are excellent. I like personally Griptide here. You take the Griptide. Yes. My pick is Ember Swallower. My reasoning for Griptide is there's no other blue cards in the pack. Um, this is true, but I still think Ember Swallower is good enough. I think blue's better than red, though. It's possible, but I, my pick would be Ember Swallower. You, Dennis has the mouse. And... Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. We ran out of time. Well, instantly nothinged. Um, so I guess we take Keepsake Gorgon here. That's else. the rare is gone. That's yeah. definitely the best card. Not close. Yeah, I mean. If we were, like, there's no way we're going Dragon Mantle because it's red. Yeah, no, it, like, Ember Swallow is also easily first pickable. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn down the sound because we're doing this long distance today. Yeah, I'm, I'm Skyped in. Joining us from Skype, so I'm going to turn the sound off so you don't have to listen to all the bells and whistles. I'm literally 20 minutes walk today. to walk away, but we're, we're lazy. <laughs> there's mm. a sip of hemlock. Oh, there is. I didn't even see that. That's good. Um, other things in the pack? Not really. I mean, that's a good card. Horizon Camera is very strong, yeah. Agent's a fine card. Lampad is disappointing. It's the worst of the, the ads. I mean, it's the worst of a good bunch, though. Even though... It is... Like, I, I don't run a Cavern Lampad. Really? Um, really. Like, the, the Bestow for 6, just... And, and the fact that it's a 4 mana 2-2 two, two into 8, <laughs> that's... Like, neither of those are... Wow, look at that. That's and a neither good card. Of those, are gone. those are good cards. Maybe we just grab... One of those. There's also a Read the Bones. We are, I feel like we're in, these are compelling black cards. Yeah, I mean, any black removal is good. I think we take the, so do we take the, if we take one of these, I think we take the foil one, right? Well, absolutely, but the other thing is the Read the Bones, which might just be... Uh, it's not, it's pretty, uh, it's a very good card. It's an excellent card. We passed a lot of good blue stuff, okay. Yeah. Blue Soundtrack Giant. Not yeah, really. I mean, this what do you think fun. of Stone Shark Giant versus Ill Tempered Cyclops? I prefer Stone Shark Giant. Why? It hits a lot harder. It does, it, but like eight has... mana versus six mana monsters. Yeah, but this 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 monster is is often would just win the game. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, you, the Falter is nice. It it itself hits for eight. You don't need much more damage to make it lethal. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just much more impactful. Like Ill Tempered Ill Cyclops is a more solid card, but this has a it's, much higher yeah, ceiling. It's a curve filler. I much prefer okay. the Stone Shark. So things we're looking for now, maybe Okami. Crackle War Caller. Um, what do you think of playing that in a deck without too many Minotaurs? Um, you get more Minotaurs than you think. But even in a, as itself, it's a 4-3 haste. 5 mana 4-3 haste? Is which, is, which is worse than this. 4 mana 4-3. But if we can get any other Minotaurs, I would like to pick one of these up. Okay, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it's spicy. For sure. Mm -hmm. Fanatic Amogus counts. Yeah, I mean... That's annoying. The other thing I'm looking at now, just because we've got quite a top end at the moment, is the Unicorn. But I don't think we, we pick it over from a Fanatic. Yeah, it's, just it's a Bernie Minotaur. Card. I don't think we can do that. Um, Blood to Harp is quite nice. Uh, yeah, there's... <sighs> Pixis goes so late, and I've always wanted to do it, but it just it's so bad. Uh, did you ever see Loading Ray Run did a video with it? Yeah, and they got there once, didn't they? Yeah, they just picked a million cards with ETB effects and right. then flickered them all out. Or in, rather. Um, Blood to Hobby is just a solid card, though. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well. Um, there's literally nothing in this pack. Uh, <laughs> Bronze Sable is the only card that we're going to even come close to playing. Um, but, uh, Claire of Heresy doesn't do anything against us. Gate it's... Corruption is just not playable. <sighs> Community of the Gods can kind of do something sometimes. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's probably the Sable, but take me with the there, guys if you want. They, well, they, we're not running either. There's again. no way. Um, Viper's Kiss is actually playable. Yeah, so is 
nothing. Well, Fate for Toads is also playable, but yeah, Vipers gives us probably more stuff. So. Dark Betrayal, sweet. Great pickup for the sideboard, yeah. I'm surprised mm-hmm. that went so late. People don't like those as much as we do, I think. Oh, the other sideboard one, we, we, are not to be underestimated. We just got a Glare Heresy, like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think oh, Guardians here. Yeah. There's the commune with the gods you wanted. Mm. Not a huge fan of the black red deck, to be honest, in Theros. Um, it's, I think, yeah, it pulls in two directions is the thing. Um, because the black is very slow, the red's very fast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's so I mean, fast. Look at all these four and five drops. If we, if we can play some early defense, things like, uh, Baleful Eidolons. Yeah. And maybe even some ramp, like in the form of Opaline Unicorns. Hey, on color rare, awful. Do we... I mean, do we just take that? No, he's crap. He's actually, is like, he yes, he's awful. I mean, how bad is a bear ever? It's, we're never casting on turn two. I'd much rather have, you know, this. Or maybe yeah, even this. I don't think we're the ordeal deck. I don't think so. I think we'd rather have the Cyclops. Um, yeah, or, I can buy or the Harpy. I prefer Cyclops to Harpy. Okay. Also, we will 100% wheel Timurat, by the way, just saying. That's interesting. Marauder is quite good, so is Harpy. So I don't know. It's disappointing that Marauder isn't a Minotaur. Because he's got the horns. Because he's Mogus's. Is oh, I guess. He's, a, he's in fact killed a Minotaur, presumably. Yeah, he's wearing a Minotaur's skull. What do you reckon? Harpy, Marauder. I mean, this is annoying, but you know. Yeah, seeing that is. is... I mean, I don't think we want the second Cyclops here. No, Harpy might be good. These I have similar roles. Marauder to Harpy, to be honest. Okay. Like you say, it can be just a finisher. Uh, oh, these are uh, both so great. we definitely take Minotaur Berserker here, right? Skull Cleaver, you mean? Yes. Like, <laughs> I was reading its creature type, apparently. No, Minotaur Skull Cleaver. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Didn't know it was a you know, Berserker, but it was a creature type. A couple of good things here. Uh, for me, it's either Rage or Insatiable Harpy. I think I might like the Rage a little better in this day. Oh, the Harpy is really good. Harpy is very good. There's also a Read the Bones. I don't think we're on. I like. I. I hesitant to run two of them. Mm-hmm. At that point, you're doing a lot of damage too. So. Yeah, I mean that's a fifth of your life total. Um, so, between these two, two for me, harpy, what do you think? maybe rage is better. Maybe harpy is better. Um, I can see either. I. I. I won't debate either of these picks. Okay, but... I think we'll take the harpy. Okay. That's a, a little annoying, but freak is here. Yeah. Great. Our mana is gonna be a little intense. Yeah, we don't want to be splashing in this deck. There's your Eidolon. Hey, versus coordinated assault? Probably the Eidolon, right? Yeah, still probably the Eidolon, yeah. Sip. Perfect. Oh no, second Baleful? Ooh. Nah, Sip's better than the second Baleful, I think. Two Sips is the ideal amount to run in the deck, but this deck really needs some early defense. I, th- I, nah. Sip, absolutely Sip. Every single I'm time. Being overruled for the record. Yeah, I should clarify, I have the mouse, so. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm in a different. What do you reckon? Uh, Titan Strength. It's it's not that bad. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's not a good card. All right, all right. I just I I almost never run one. This is coming together kind of well. I like this. Yeah, I mean, my concern is that we'll just get aggroed out by any base white deck. Boon or hero? Um, I don't want either of them. I guess Boon. You don't like a hero? I'm not a big fan of a hero. One mana two one? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. They're, like, they're both quite underwhelming in my book. Harpy's a mess. Uh, so I think we take the Harpy over this here. I agree. Try it. Curb Try the it curve down a little. Really nice. Yeah, no, this is a curve. It just started three. Yeah. Well, the Adelon. Um... We wouldn't take a second Dark Betrayal here. No. Harpy, they meant... To, okay, that's fine. Will we run two of those? I don't see Maybe. That. Fine. Yeah, that's a fine card. Three Harpies meant some fairly powerful air pressure. Uh-huh. Along with the... Yeah, where is it? Harpy. The what? The Insatiable Harpy. Oh, we have one of the... We, we're, we've got sort of a tribal thing going on. We're doing Minotaurs and Harpies. Yeah, I love all the tribal Harpy cards. 
Yeah. So what's the dream up in here? Just Elspeth? Well, annoyingly, we didn't get Timurat back. I don't think we'd run him anyway. Um, He's it, Well, we're stuck for twos, for one thing. Ooh, is that worth anything? Master of Waves. I, I know it is. In, in paper. Things in paper. Hmm. Um, Master of Waves. Let's take a look. The fact that it's... Seven. Seven tickets. Okay, so what we need to do is look at the rest of the pack. This is how you rare draft. You look at the rest of the pack and you go, is anything in this pack worth seven tickets? Of make? equity. Of a, yeah, exactly. This is, the, this, this is what we take, I'm sure. Uh, I would probably take Baleful or Minotaur Skull Cleaver over one of those. Really? You have 14 creatures. Lash is a great card. It doesn't Lash matter. We're absolutely just taking the Master of Waves. Yeah, so, yeah, we, we, we get to talk about the other picks, but Master of Waves, seven tickets. Not, like, nothing we take is going to add seven tickets of value to our deck. Which is winning Which is winning just over two rounds. Yeah. That's nice. So one card is going to have that much impact. It's a nice pickup. A okay, immediately punished by a crap pack. But we just take the temple here. I don't think they're worth anything online. That doesn't matter. I will, we're in one of the colors. We just run it over a small. I guess, but... There were, yeah. There half a tick. But the thing is, we like I, I'm very happy to have one of those. All right. Um, there's literally nothing else. I mean, we're not taking another Titan Strength, so sure. I'm gonna put it in the board just so we don't make us up our lash. La there's a lash. There's a lash. Oh. What do you think of? Yeah, blue seems quite open. Or, you know. I think we take the lash. Um, I don't want a second for Rika's cure. What do you think about Return Phalanx? Probably not the big. No way. Lash. Okay. Lash is a good card. It's a fine card. I I just find it really horrible. The fact that it doesn't kill some things. Annoying. That's Look quite a good this. card, though. Uh, Perforce is fine. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I, I like Burnished Heart here. I agree. Absolutely. That's exactly what we want. I, really? <laughs> There's a second. Well we, well, we just snap that up, don't we? Um, Have you ever read him? He doesn't do anything. Look, the, the one in a red ability is fine. Is it? It's, if you need... If we weren't so full on four drops, I'd make a case for this. Um, no, I think Tim Red's probably just the big here. I'd almost rather have a Flash Mount Seed. Oh, wow, okay. Um, this is a bad one. Now what? Uh, how often are we scrying? This. Mm -hmm. Which is a combo with that Adept. Yeah, funnily enough. I think that's literally it. Oh, read the bones. Yeah, and scry two doesn't trigger him twice. It's whenever you scry. Yeah. Not how many you scry? Um, I th like, how good is a three minus two three? Fine. Would we rather have a second stone shock? Second stone shock might be better, and we cut like uh, this return center maybe. Uh huh. Well, we've already got a couple of cuts. Mm. Steed's actually quite nice here. Come on. Steed definitely over two headed servers to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd take the strength here. We're not going to run there, are we? I might rather have the strength than the other boon. Than the boon. Oh, no, boon's probably better. Boon's better than the strength. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'd agree. Maybe we take this instead. We're not going to run that either, but, you know. Yeah, okay. Uh, Viper's Kiss? We already have that one. That comes in against Monstrous decks. We already have we one. We already have one? Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe not. This is actually kind of annoying for us. Just making a bunch of things? Mm. Mm hmm. Phalanx. Okay. I'd like one of those. I'd run that over a Fleshman Seed. Yeah, I'm not really getting aggro with a Fleshman Seed. Plus, we actually do have the Temple. Yeah, so there's, there's and I don't know, there's a 1 in a million chance of activating it. But the main thing is, like, we want early defense. So. Mm -hmm. This deck is a little all over the place. We have three cuts to make. It doesn't, that's the thing, it doesn't really know what it's doing. No. Which is a little bit sad. You know who might not be good here? This and this. Just cut the Minotaur thing. Yeah, and just keep, like, the... We only have three Minotaurs. Yeah, so maybe, if, like, we've got three cuts to make. What about all of the Minotaurs? Well, Fnatic is better. still good. Fnatic does things, yeah. Like, Fnatic is fine. We're quite heavy black, actually. Smoke cleaver on its own. I'm not a big fan. No. I think we do this. That looks much nicer. Yeah, I... Yeah. And maybe... The... Maybe the Fnatic. How, how much is it ever doing? Three. At the very most? At the very most, like nine, but, you know, three. Yeah, but, okay, so four mana... Four mana, four, two that deals three. How good is that? Quite. Um, is it better than 
The Star of Blood Tell Harvey. No. Um, I would, to be honest, rather cut Timurid. You think? I hate. I mean, I know he's Reach and everything, but yeah, I mean, he just, like he can just close. Like, if you manage to beat him down to eight, he can just end the game, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which we can do, I think, fairly handily. Exactly. So I think I think he's gonna surprise you at least once. Okay. Cut one of the read the bones, maybe. That's an option. Or maybe the, uh, the Marauder's quite good. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of cards that just surprise end the game. I think that's kind of our theme. Which is that's a good theme to have. Yeah, maybe, maybe two stone shocks isn't the best. Ten seven seems about right. I like two stone shocks. The thing is, because we want to be lower red. It's only two red, and it's on turn five. I don't know. Does ten seven seem right? Yeah, I think it does. I'd rather. Uh, yeah, look, it does. Look, look at look at that three drop pile. Yeah, you're right. Um, We've talked about this that before. Altar mountain we have there. Oh, almost missed it. Punt. No. Is it all dark? Yeah, it is. It is. Co- hey. Yeah. Value. I used to not be a huge fan of running off color, te- color temples, but I was an idiot, so whatever. Yeah, Scry is very good. This is into Mark Rose, where I talked about it on his podcast today. Oh, Drive to Work? Yeah, they, um, he was saying how they didn't, have, they didn't have Scry implemented in the set when they finished it, and then development stuck it in as the last mechanic, which is why you have cards like Defend the Hearth, which is Fog... But with you just staple the word scry onto it. Defend the hearth doesn't have scry. Exactly. Defend what, the hearth should, should have scry on it. What's what? What are the ones that do that? Like Titan Strength. Titan Strength has scry stapled on. Voyage's End is um, on summon. Scry stapled to a disperse. Um, well, no, it's, uh, well, part of the state. No, part of the stapling process is mm-hmm. that it adds one one colorless mana. Not always. Disperse okay. disperse is a permanent. Does this person say... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. No, I can't say words. Yeah, it is. Um, it's not creature, because right. otherwise it would just be worse than Unsummon. Anyway... It is, well, it is worse than Unsummon. <laughs> anyway, this seems fine. This is a deck. This Plus, is a deck we're gonna... only to win a round to profit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, this is another Swiss event, just to make sure we get three rounds for you guys. Mm. Um, okay. okay. I'm going to submit. I... See you in round one. See you in round one.